21 of Nick Spidel. Then we'll see the 27B of AJ Burns and the 42 of Hank Davis. And then on the final row, we'll see the 4M of Michelle Decker. As the lights go out, we look to go green. Carson Garrett gets the early jump. So around the outside, here comes Lance Bennett. Bennett takes over the lead point. As Carson Garrett looks right back to the inside, can't make it happen as he misses the bottom. Lance Bennett, your race leader. Carson Garrett second. Nick Spidel third. Here comes Hank Davis to the inside of the 21. Davis off the of turn number two is going to take over that third spot. After an early caution, starting at the back did not hurt the 42. Rujo Racer of Hank Davis. Michelle Decker now looking to make a move here, passing two cars, two, three, and four up in the four. AJ Burns going to look to the inside of her, but she's going to cross him back over off the turn number two. Lance Bennett still your race leader as the caution flag will fly. That's Ryan Porter bringing out the caution in the 43 there on the exit of turn number two. Lights go out. Bennett will bring the field back to green off the turn number four. The green flag drops, and here we go. Back in the way for titanium heat race number one. As contact out of the exit of number two, we'll see Hank Davis and Carson Garrett get together. Carson Garrett will keep the car straight and stay rolling. As now Michelle Decker moves into that second spot. So Decker down the back straight is going to look to the inside of Bennett. Side by side off of four. Decker will take over the lead point from that last to first in just six laps. So two laps remain here in our heat race. The white flag will fly this time by for Michelle Decker. Decker, your race leader, Bennett in second. Davis in third. Your race winner, Michelle Decker. Second's gonna go to Davis. Third will go to Bennett. Fourth, AJ Burns and your Rounding out the top five will be Carson Garrett. But ladies and gentlemen, in the Roof Bolt Express, Jet Hot Coatings, Real Wheels, number 4M, that's Miss Michelle Decker. So drivers getting the one to go this time by. Eight laps the distance. Passing points, the name of the game for the Power Eye Midgets. Kaiser Racing Wheels Heat Race number two will be brought to green by Phil Shapel and Paul Babick. Row two will see Thomas and Sneeling. Row three, Reese and Simpson. Row four, Rossi and Har. And here we go, Heat Race number two. Side by side through turns one and two. Going to be three wide momentarily as Babick makes contact with the wall. And Thomas looks to the inside to pass them both. Thomas will be your race leader. Oh, trouble for Thomas as he pulls to the infield, loses power it looks like. So Phil Shapel will be your heat race leader. Paul Babbitt in second, Troy Simpson third, fourth. Will be a battle between Reed and Har. So Babbitt now trying to reel in the 84 of Shakespeare, trying to be right back on the back bumper, and here comes Bob Carr now. Carr looks to the inside of Babbitt as Babbitt goes around the outside of Shapel. New race leader, Paul Babbitt in the 69. Now Bob Carr around the, the 84 of Shapel. So Babbitt, your race leader in the 69, Bob Hart in the 2H in second, the 84 of Phil Shapel in third, with Troy Simpson running in that four spot. But now Brent Reese trying to set him up to look to the inside, not enough momentum to get the job done there. White flag flies one more time around for Paul Babbitt here in heat race number two. Two, three, and four for the final time. Your Kaiser Racing Wheels Heat Race winner will be Paul Babbitt.
Paul Babbitt, your race winner. Second will go to the 2 H of Bob Haar. Third to the 7 of Troy Simpson. But ladies and gentlemen, your race winner out of Fort Collins, Colorado, the 69 of Paul Babbitt. Saldana Racing Products heat race number three set to go green as the field paces down the back stretch into turn number three. Roush and Becker will bring them the green off of four and here we go. Roush out to the early lead. Becker running in that second spot. Fisher already at the third, but here comes Wesley Smith. Wesley Smith from eighth to third in one lap. Roush to the outside. Becker to the outside. Wesley Smith now trying to look to the bottom, to the inside of the TV of Becker. Side by side off the turn number two is Smith and Becker for that second spot. Smith staying to the bottom of the racetrack will get the spot off of turn number four. So Wesley Smith, seventh to fourth to second, excuse me. Seventh to second. Dean Roush up front, gonna be reaching a lap car of Ashley Porter in the 16. Order works to the outside, makes contact with the wall, will bring out a caution as it looks like something in the rear end has broken on the 16 machine. Down the back straightaway into turn number three, we roll out of turn number four, picking up the pace, we are back underway. From Saldana Racing Product in race number three. Roush with a great start there. Fisher now looks to the inside of Becker. We'll take over that third spot in the 24. Becker now looks to the inside. Not going to be able to get it done through one and two. We'll lose a spot to Jeff Crook. So Becker falls back to fifth. Now paddles back to the inside of Crook for a four. Not able to make it happen at the 15 to go. White flag in hand for Keith Roush. One more time around here in heat race number three. As we have a yellow flag, somebody has lost what looks to be a left rear. Lights are out for Roush leading the field into turn number three. Off of four, we pick up the pace, back underway. Keith Roush with a good jump on the field that time. Roush leads from down the back straightaway. We'll see the white flag off of turn number four, so one more time around for heat race number three. Jeff Crook around the inside of Fisher. The checker flag will fly for Keith Roush. Second will be the 44 of Wesley Smith and third will be the 5J of Jeff Crook. But ladies and gentlemen, your race winner from Thornton, Colorado, it's the 27 of Keith Roush. Keith Roush, your heat race winner. So we will try this one more time as the lights have gone out. Gerke with the big jump once again. Hamilton into the second spot. Merritt falls in third, Shooty in fourth. Shooty looking to the outside. Three wide for a moment down the front stretch. As Shooty now moves into that third spot. Shooty around the outside, gonna take over second from Hamilton. No, Hamilton's gonna hold on to the second place. Out front, Chet Gerke has all been checked out on this one. Hamilton, we will see the caution flag fly. That's going to bunch everybody back up in this field. Looks like Blaze Bennett will bring out the caution. Down in turn number one. So the drivers get one to go this time by. Chet Gerke leads Mark Hamilton, Corey Schutte, Zach Merritt, Chris Shield. 
Gary Schaefer and Blaze Bennett your field. Down the back straightaway through three and four. The green flag will fly, we're back underway. Gerke with a great start once again over the field and Corey Schutte goes to work on trying to get around the 76 of Hamilton. Schutte to the outside through one and two, side by side off of two. Schutte will have the spot. Schutte takes over that second spot from six. Mark Hamilton third, Zach Merritt fourth, and Chris Shield fifth. They get two to go this time by, so two laps remain here in heat race number four. As Shield looks to the inside of Merritt, we'll get the spot. The white flag will fly for Chet Gerke. One more time around for the 11 C. Judy in second. Hamilton in third. Two, three, and four for the final time. Your heat race winner out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. That's going to be the 11C of Chet Gerke. Second to the 28 of Shooty. And rounding out your podium in heat race number four will be the 76 of Mark Hamilton. But ladies and gentlemen, your race winner, how about it for the 11C of Chet Gerke? Green flag will fly off a of turn four. We'll try it one more time. I have to hear the jump. McIntosh going to follow. Dolby now to the inside of Taylor. And Dolby up to the third spot. So it's Ike, McIntosh, Dolby, Taylor, and Chisholm. McIntosh gets around the two of Ike off a of turn number four. But the caution flag will fly. Patrick Burke coming to a stop there at the exit of turn number four. So caution flag will fly. As the lights go out, the field enters into turn number three. Luke Ike will bring the field to green off of four. We are back underway. <laughs> Ike, still your race leader. McIntosh trying to set him up through one and two. McIntosh looks to the inside, can't get there. Dobby still fighting off a hard charging Taylor in the 71 team. Four laps to go here in heat race number five. As McIntosh once again, the diamonds from one to two, gonna look to the inside, can't make it happen, so he jumps to the outside of three and four. A great race up front, Luke Ike holding off a hard charging Cannon McIntosh. McIntosh a little too hot into turn number one, will make contact and spin up the track and we'll bring out the caution. So five laps complete, we come back to green as Luke Ike, your race leader, Robert Dalby in second. 71 to the third, Hannah Hayter fourth, and Patrick Burke rounding out the top five. Right back out, so one more time around for Luke Ike. So heat race number five will go to the two of Luke Ike, second to the 4D of Robert Dobby, and rounding out your podium 
will be the 71 of Zach Taylor. But ladies and gentlemen, your race winner, the two of Luke Ike. Out of turn number four, 12 laps of distance. Hamilton with a big wheelie off the start. Not going to let that one go. The caution flag will come out. Oh, upside down. Red flag will fly. Two cars get together. And we go red. Lights go out. Once again, 12 laps the distance. Through three and four, we pick up the pace. Green flag will fly, and we are underway. Better start that time. Jack Taylor of the 71 the outside. Going to lead early here. As Hamilton is in that second spot, Burke battling with some for third. Front. Mark Hamilton bobbles trouble for Hamilton there. We'll open the door for the 21 of Now Bennett gets spun around. Contact with the 56X. He tries to keep it rolling, but looks like something will break. As the lights go out, we're looking for the green out of four back underway. Order to the inside of Hamilton in trouble in turn one and two. Red flag, Olivia Bennett upside down. car in that transfer spot gets it Taylor, your race winner. 
Second will go to the TV of Becker. And third will be taken over by Ryan Order as trouble for the 21. For the three of Rees, the 74 of Merritt, row five, the 88 W of Wheeland, and the 39 of Sneeling, Hoover, Order, and then Tyler Thomas. We are green flag racing out of turn number four after a slight rain delay. Here we go. Under Fisher jumping after that early race, Tyler Thomas slicing the dice and down the back straightaway. Through the field comes Thomas. Your race leader, Hunter Fisher, Bennett, just start shaking in the third. Jonathan Ross is on the outside for the game along with Carson Garrett. Second will be the 15C. The 15C of Carson Garrett, then the 84 of Shapel. Your top three transfers as now Tyler Thomas will have to come from the back of the field as the green flag will fly. Back and forth, all over the back bumper of Shapel. will fly. So tough break for Tyler Thomas. He will be done. Apparently more damage done than what's seen whenever Thomas made contact with Bennett here on the front straightaway. Seven laps complete here for Hunter Fisher, Carson Garrett, and Phil Shapel. Back underway, Dan McIntosh trying to fight around Shapel. As off of turn number four, the zero eight is over that third spot. Now McIntosh sets his sights on the 15 seat of Carson Garrett. Hunter Fisher, still your race leader. Second, Carson Garrett of the 15th. And around the top of the three right now, the zero lane of the McIntosh. Two laps remaining. And you're sitting in the Checker flag will fly. That'll move Hunter Fisher, Carson Garrett, 
and the 08 of Cannon McIntosh into your A main event for the midgets here tonight. So we get everybody resituated. We get the one to go this time by. We'll try 25 laps the distance. Hank Davis, Michelle Decker, Pace into turn number three off of turn number four. The green flag flies and we are back underway. Hank Davis jumping out of that early, early three. Michelle Decker there as well. Bob Hawker, Wesley Smith battle for the third spot. Wesley Smith on the inside now and Michelle Decker will take over that spot. Morning shooting in the fourth spot. Then it's Robert Dobbins and Bob Hall battle to get out for the check curtain in that lucky scene machine. in turn number two. Looks to be the 11C of Chet Gerke. So 
we are ready to go back to green. Hank Davis, your race leader, brings them back to green off of turn number four. One lap off of Wesley Smith. Ford shooting six to the third spot. Ford shooting six to the third spot. down a car wrecks viciously in turn three and four try and figure out who that driver is looks like the 2B of Brett Becker out of Odessa Texas upside down into the fence in turn number three So here we go, the drivers get the one to go this time by. It'll be Hank Davis leading Wesley Smith, Corey Schutte, Michelle Decker, and Robert Dalby. Through three and four, we pace off of four. Here comes Hank Davis, your race leader. Back to green is your A feature. Finishes third. He will take home the win here tonight at Airport Raceway and leave $2,000 richer. Well, not only picking up his first career midget win, but doing it in absolutely dominating performance here at the third annual midget roundup at Airport Raceway. Hank, you started on the pole and you basically walked away with that thing. Talk to us about that A feature. Well, I mean, it sucks having to race on something tacky to win, but I mean, I'll take a win, I guess. Well, we talked during that little rain delay. You said, I'm going to do my rain dance, and maybe they'll, they'll get the feature started, and then we'll have a, <laughs> you know, a little downpour, and they'll just call it. They didn't have to call it because you did it yourself. That racetrack was fast, tacky, and heavy. Whenever you started getting into lap traffic, you were three, four wide there slicing and dicing. Talk to us about that lap traffic and how you dialed it in through three and four and on the front stretch there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I got lucky for sure. I mean, I went down here in uh, one and two, the first one, and just got around them quick and just started picking them off. Just they weren't in the lane I was running. So you talk about the lap traffic. They weren't running the lane you were running. Did you ever think that you had pressure on you by way of Wesley Smith or Corey Schutte or any of these guys coming up through the field? Oh, of course. I thought they were on me the whole race. That's why I was pushing them, pushing them. But apparently, I guess not. So a stellar performance for the Rujo Racers, Forest Tag Ridge Agency, Cook Enterprises 42. What do you think about this, man? You're just still soaking it all in. You've had a couple of minutes to kind of soak it in. What's your, what, are, what are your thoughts about winning your first A feature? It's awesome for sure. It's awesome for sure that Tank Davis, your A main winner for two grand here at Airport Raceway. So Wesley Smith, last night's A main winner, comes up one spot short here in night number two. You had to come from the field, fighting through lap traffic, getting into a couple of drivers, as so they call it. Talk to us about that A main. Uh, it, it was a pretty clean race overall. You know, I started fourth, ran third for about three laps, and then got me and Michelle Decker got into it a little bit, but it was nothing big. And and uh, by the time by the time I got through there, Hank was gone. You know, I came up a spot short and about a straightaway behind, but he was on the move tonight. It was pretty cool to see him get his first win. 
So you talk about that. You come up one spot short. He was a straightaway ahead. You did have a couple opportunities there, though, late in the race with a couple of late cautions, some lap traffic playing havoc on you there. You still just didn't have what it takes. Do you think if you may have misjudged the setup or did you want to try the high line? Should you have tried something different or was it pretty much the track was where it was and that's what you had to settle for? You know, I think I think part of it was set up, you know, my, my, my driving set up and my car set up. You know, I think I think uh, the, the little tangle at the beginning of the race was a little minute, bit of a mental challenge. I think uh, since I bounced so hard, it just felt like something was broke the whole race, whether it was or not, who knows. But it was just one of those deals. I tried to work around it and there was just no catching, there was just no catching Hank Davis. He was just on rails tonight. So a win and a second, you can't be disappointed going home and going throughout the rest of the season. Talk about how big of a boost of confidence this is. Coming in here with 40 plus cars, taking a win and a second. You know, this track's it's it's been really good to us, even though we never won one until last night. And and uh, this this place always gets gets a get, puts a good uh, boost in our racing for the rest of the season. So I'm excited to get to it. Very good. That's Wesley Smith tonight's second place finisher here at the third annual Midget Roundup.